hello. In this video, I will show you how QuickBooks works on the cloud. Let's quickly jump into it. You need to use a remote desktop shortcut. After you are done with the setup wizard, you will be automatically allowed to use the shortcut. Double click on the desktop shortcut and you will see a dialog box. You don't need to fill the username as it is automatically provided by the setup wizard. Add your password and click OK. Tick the Remember Me column to make sure that your password is already updated and you can open the Sage Next Cloud Server in a go. Once you click OK, after the connection process you will be directed to the Sage Next Cloud Server desktop. Now, open QuickBooks. Click this big button here. Open or restore an existing company file. Restore a backup copy from a shortcut folder. Click open to restore it. We always put a little shortcut here for you, which is your company file shortcuts. Not just QuickBooks, Sage Next services can be used for any Windows-based application like Sage. Drake, Lassert, etc. as you can see the applications on this remote desktop. Congratulations! You are all set to do your work with Sage Next. Now, if you want to log off the Sage Next connection, you can easily minimize if you are working on your personal computer. Even if you click the close button, it will close the Sage Next window on your desktop, but your connection is still running. So the correct way to log off is to go to the log off shortcut and click OK. Or, you can click the start button and select log off. This way you are properly signed off with your Sage Next desktop connection. This is how we can use QuickBooks on the cloud server. Thank you for watching.